Will you believe if I say I have done this makeup using all the Nykaa's best selling products? <music> welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be using all the products that are best seller on nika app. now mind you it is not a sponsored video none of the products are sponsored in today's video i was quite sulking honestly to make this video i was like yeah let's do it the next day the next day the next day and and i'm like i have to make this video because i had this content in my mind for a very long time because i feel like i do have a very huge collection i will definitely be able to find at least one best seller product from each category with you guys i will be searching all the products in today's video and whatever will pop up the best seller for example i will search a foundation so they show up the best seller products in the first place they don't have one best seller products in a category like they have three four different products in a category whatever best seller products nika has right now i will be using only those products in today's video to create this look as you move forward to this video you will see what are the missiles that's going to happen in today's video so i'm very excited are you excited let's jump into today's video and also i have a giveaway for you guys in this video do not forget to watch the entire video to know more about the giveaway let's go i hope you have understood the concept so we're gonna straightly dive into the makeup i have only applied a little bit of gel moisturizer because it's summertime i don't want to irritate my skin with tons of products so i'm just cutting down all the products so i'm gonna straightly dive into primer so i can see for the primer they have the nika spread me up primer which i have with me as well so it's a very beautiful silicone based primer it just glides on top of your skin so i'm gonna use the same i don't use it anymore i'm gonna be honest honestly i have no excuse i just shift to different products every other day because of the nature of my job now i love this primer you can see it instantly smoothens my skin i'm gonna use a little bit more guys i mostly make my videos around 1 or 2 a.m but today i'm feeling a little tired i think i'm gonna go to bed early so i'm just filming this video at 8 pm so if you hear a little bit of noise please pardon me for the same i had this idea in my mind for the past one month but i was making way too much short contents for you guys so i completely forgot about it today it is like a dedicated day for long form content and i'm all up for it and with that our skin is nicely prepped blurred you can see there are plethora of foundations available but i could choose only one foundation and that is maybelline's fit me foundation it is one of my favorite foundation as well and i think everyone's favorite foundation it's the best drugstore foundation till date i think they have launched a new super stay foundation which is going viral in middle east like in china especially i am here to try that product out because i could not find my shade if they launch other shades probably i'll be grabbing another shade as well in this foundation i'm in the shade 310 sun beige i love this foundation so much it's so nice medium coverage it does not oxidize a lot you can literally blend your foundation with your fingers you can see in real time how easy easily it gets blend on the skin without being very heavy i'm gonna take my brush and i'm just gonna dab a little bit around my hairline so there is no harsh lines okay my hair is being all over the place bit of concealer and i can find a lot of best sellers i'm gonna take the mac concealer okay i have two shades with me one is nw42 and one is nc42 so i just like to mix this two up and you will see why i don't have a lot of dark circles so i just need to brighten up a little bit but if i use nc42 directly it just becomes a little too bright for me now the applicator somehow broke i don't even know why but we're going to use the nw42 a little bit around my inner corners of my eyes and you can see it sort of like will cancel out a little bit of extra brightness it has a little bit of orange and olive undertone i love to use this concealer on the inner side only when i'm going full bang like today this is a concealer that i will use even when i will be on my deathbed i'm not even kidding studio fix range is everything even in today's date and age when there are plethora of concealers available but i still vouch for mac for liquid blush i can't find a blush that i would love and whatever is showing as a best seller products i actually don't have any of them but i have earth rhythms blush which is a leap and cheek tint which is this one now this is not my shade i'm gonna be honest i hope i did not drop a lot on my face anyways it's not my shade i'm gonna be honest for tints or cream products what happens like i genuinely need a deepest deepest shades of red or maroon or purple you know to literally flaunt my cream blush because i fall in the brown skin category so it just evaporates into the thin air in 30 minutes and especially in summer i cannot even like tell you how easily it just evaporates and it just gets blended with my skin tone i did not purchase it with my own money i got it in the pr from earth rhythm but this is not kind of my shade it's a lot lighter i'm not gonna lie so that's why i told you that i did not find cheek tint which i have which is also a best seller on nika 
So I'm gonna go one more. I just put two dots of it. Now we're gonna blend it once again. Now I love the formulation and everything, but they also have four different shades, which I also feel like is very versatile for a cheek tint as well. But this shade that I have gotten is not my shade. Honestly, don't know why they have sent me this shade, but anyways. So this is how it looks after five dots of cheek tint on each side now i'm going to search a pressed powder or loose powder as soon as possible so for pressed powder i can see i can use the max pressed powder i'm also in the shade nc41 why did i purchase nc41 is because i fall in the nc42 category for concealer i mix the nc42 and nw42 shade for that reason i just love using nc41 so it can cancel out if i have any uneven tone around my eyes with the rest of the face when it's not summertime i do not use powder puff but it's summertime i need to set the base on place because i am a sweaty ass gal okay so i'm just gonna set my base by pressing this powder around my face now you generally don't need to use this after all of these steps you can literally use the pressed powder directly because it has a nice amount of coverage if you don't like to use foundation concealer anything of that sort even in evening time or night time if you're going out for dinner or date or anything of that sort you can literally apply it straightly on your face by skipping all the foundation and concealer um i also do it sometimes when i'm not feeling like it if i'm outside and if my makeup is melting down like literally it's melting right now so i just need a little bit of touch up and that's why i carry this powder around you can see how my base is looking it's looking very very matte right now and i love this honestly right now my base is giving <laughs> Now I definitely need a bronzer to give a little bit of dimension so I'm gonna find the best seller bronzer on Nykaa. I have the Sugar Trio palette with me so we're gonna use that. It's time to use the OG palette, the Sugar Contour D4C palette. I bought it in 2019 and it has expired already in 2022 but who cares. In this household I have limited money, I have to pay for my own bill. How can you even expect me to buy repeatedly a product in every three years? Love this palette and I will keep on using it. I don't care anyways i'm just gonna use the contour now they have a very beautiful contour shade i used to love it like this is one of the best contour shade for brown skin you will see in real time how easily it blends it's a perfect cool tone shade i'm also gonna apply a little bit around my nose not the biggest fan of nose contouring gonna be honest it does not work on my samosa nose but it is what it is just gonna give a little bit of dimension only on the top side of my nose honestly i have tried all the nose contour hacks that is available on tiktok and instagram and nothing has worked for me so i have just lost my hope now i only need surgery and i don't have money for it and i don't really support surgery if i'm gonna be honest I'm actually feeling very guilty of using an expired makeup but it is what it is even though I have a lot of makeup products that I get in every year. So I don't really go back to the products and I sort of forget about the product and then sometimes I just find this out and then I just feel guilty like why didn't I even touch this makeup. Literally had to dug around in my contour desk to find this product out and this is not how it's supposed to be. It is one of my favorite product. Trust me. I'm also going to use a little bit of blush from the same palette. I'm feeling like because why not this blush is completely like non-existent to me so i'm just gonna use a little bit of powder blush as well be it powder or cream blush i like to use a very dense brush because i just love using blush in like specific places like not around all of my face i love a sun-kissed glow but also it's not my everyday look i don't like sun-kissed look on me because it just i feel like it just looks a little too fake on my dark skin i don't need the sun-kissed glow when i'm applying makeup at night right i don't see myself applying all over the cheeks like a w blush but this is the perfect placement for me now i'm searching for highlighters so there are a plethora of best-selling highlighters available like wow i think i'm gonna choose a drugstore one and yeah i think i should go with the master chrome because it is the cult classic and it's also a legit favorite of everyone's trust me i'm taking a fan brush and the master chrome this is in the very end rose gold molten i love the yellow one as well but i could only find this rose gold i don't know where i have the golden ones even though i had it after a long i'm actually opening this wow i haven't even touched it like why do i waste my money like this i haven't even wow this glow can you see the immediate glow? I just dipped it once and just went with this and I'm like, wow. 
I think I'm going to place it to my staples now where I do my daily makeup. Whenever I'm doing my makeup from now on, I should remind myself, you know, I have this highlighter. It's also a sort of like my job's nature that I have to switch to new products and every brand is coming up with new products. Like what is happening? A certain trend comes around and every brand is following the same trend by launching same products in different brand name. It's so weird. For example, right now it's all about tint gloss tinted foundation it's all about tint 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 i feel like it's just because of the korean beauty industry suddenly got so much exposure out of nowhere i especially love watching k drama i'm not a big fan of k pop i'm not there yet but i love k dramas i love the vibe of it but the k beauty industry is slightly a little less versatile and they are too judgmental honestly especially i cannot relate myself with the k beauty products because first of all there are some products like some tints and lipstick which does work for me i have tried them in sephora in nika i have tried them and i have seen that it works but honestly there are no base products that i can use like if i have to taste out a product certainly i am literally transporting a certain product from down south to india and and the base product is not matching me they have like three different shades in a foundation and i'm like um no their foundation shade is going to match only with my palm and nowhere else i'm just like okay i'm just going to stick to my indian beauty brands and global beauty brands which has a lot of base products in different shades even though a lot of brands still don't have a lot of different shades example l'oreal they have a lot of different shades outside of india but when it comes to india they only have three or four shades of concealer and i'm like what is happening we have the most diverse skin tone and why are you bringing only three shades in india it's not about fair skin in india okay please brands grow up i think a lot of indian brands are killing their game with this product shade range i don't even know where this shade range story came from but anyways we are done with our highlighter almost it's time to do the brows and i could not find a single brow product in the best selling category which i have with me so we're going to find out an eyeshadow palette now so that i can use a darker shade for my eyebrow as well i'm going to use this huda beauty nude palette which has a lot of deeper shades and i love this palette trust me this is one of the best palette huda beauty kills their game when it comes to eyeshadow i'm going to be using this huda beauty nude rich palette i have plethora of huda beauty palettes but i still go back to this and i have broken one of the shade you can see so you can already guess how much i use this palette i'm going to take the deepest shade which is definitely not my my eyebrow shade but i don't have anything which i can use for today's video so we are just going to wing it i need a closer view to literally fill in my brows i have a very thick eyebrows it's not even funny guys i will post a clip over here you can see how much thick eyebrows i have it is one of the prominent feature that i have but i think it does not look good on camera so when i'm editing and seeing that very thick eyebrow i don't feel really good about it that's why i started trimming but otherwise i just love my thick eyebrows honestly i have done a little less filling you can see in real time it's looking a little cherry undertone which is not my eyebrow color you will see in a bit how we are going to fix it okay i didn't know what is going to pop up so i don't have an eye look in my mind let's go on with a shimmery shade first i'm feeling very shimmery right now i don't know why oh this color is so rich okay i'm just gonna change the brush because i'm not getting the shimmer so i need a synthetic brush why do i feel like i need to apply it underneath my eyes as well feeling like going all out today so i'm gonna apply it on my lower lash line as well I'm going to take this brown shade and I'm just going to apply it on my lower lash line just to marry each other up. I don't know what lip color will go with this look. It's time to find out mascara and I can see there is a mascara which is my favorite as well. Can you guess amongst them? It is the Sky High mascara. I use it all the time. You will see me using this in multiple videos because I freaking love this mascara. I don't use all the hacks that I follow in my makeup tutorial when I'm going out like just for a casual outing. I just put on this mascara and it just does the job. Slightly expensive than all the other mascaras that Maybelline had till date. It totally worth all the penny. I just went on and I became a little chatty in this video I believe it just became kind of a chatty get ready with me by the way are you watching my shorts and are you guys liking it this is the most important thing for me i have 
made short form contents on beauty for a very long time and honestly guys it wasn't really working it wasn't getting a lot of reach engagement so i switched to a different genre now as an artist i feel like creativity can be morphed into so many things and that's why while making videos i just feel like i just want to try different aspects of different contents sometimes i do comedy contents sometimes i do relatable content mostly right now i'm doing a lot of relatable contents i'm also kind of thinking of a lot of things that i actually think while doing makeup Makeup and all of these different aspects and I'm just making videos on that while doing makeup as well makeup is still gonna be my first love I do put on makeup almost every other day on my face because I love it but also I'm just gonna venture into different genre as well because I want to try different things I feel like when you are watching a certain creator for a very long time what happens you know you just get bored of the same face and the same sort of content it's obviously an entertainment purpose app all the time you are not using this app to gather knowledge right sometimes even when you are exhausted you are looking for some relatable contents or comedy contents so i'm just trying to do those as well um yeah that's about it lashes took a long time because i do my lashes very precisely i just go on and on and on make sure that there is no clump and you can see the result it's amazing now what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be spooling my eyebrows a little bit just because i could not use my shade of eyebrow product today i need to match my eyebrows a little with my hair color literally black eyebrow product which complements honestly i'm going to stay falsies after this i can't see myself wearing another layer of false lashes after this wisp beautiful long voluminous lashes even though it is not a fixing spray i'm just gonna spray a little bit because it's summertime i genuinely need something to spray on my face because i'm feeling very hot right now not as in hot hot like as in hot hot humid hot that's a long shower it's a cult favorite it's my favorite everyone's favorite while i wait for it to dry down a little bit i'm gonna search for the lip products for lip liner i can see i can use the super lip liner it's not long lasting at all so not my favorite i could literally skip it but i'm just doing it for the sake of this video I like a lip liner which is very long lasting which stays underneath your lipstick as well but it doesn't stay guys it's not the very long lasting lip liner like do it and it will just come off I'm gonna use the Lakme forever matte liquid lip color in the shade mauve fling I found this shade just because I wanted to pair it up with the lip liner and this color will go amazing with the lip liner but I'm not really sure how it will look with the eye makeup this kind of shimmery eye look I have never really done so this is also new for me Okay, not the best color contrast, I can say for sure. Okay, I'm gonna mix the nude pink from the same range. This is also Let Me Forever Mad. I hope it will work. Okay, my lip shade is still not there. So we're gonna apply this orange tango from the range Let Me Forever Mad from the same range. So I'm just gonna apply it a little bit on the inner sides of my lips just to give a little bit of dimension because I feel like that will look good. See, this color is oh bombastic. We are finally reaching to a point where it's looking all together, looking a little monochromatic. I think this eye look definitely needed a shade like this. Alright you guys, this is my final finished look. I really hope you found this video enjoyable or fun to watch because there is nothing so much to learn honestly. But I can tell you for sure that all the products that I have used in today's video is bomb.com products and I had with me for the longest time. Except the Contour Diffusive Palette and the NC42 and NW42 concealers from MAC. All the products are quite my recent purchase except Lip liner all the other products are my absolute favorite so i can highly recommend you guys to get all of this product don't get me wrong the lip liner is also really good but just because it's cheap it's not very long lasting as well i will put all the links of the products that i have used in today's video in the description box below so make sure to check these products out they are drugstore except the concealer and the powder all the products are pretty damn cheap you will be able to afford the whole collection honestly i'm assuming all of the products you already have in your makeup vanity because it's literally the best seller products of night I am seeing this product since 2019 honestly so I am assuming all of the products are best seller for a pretty damn long time. So yeah that's about it. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon so whenever I will upload a new video you will get notification and you will get to see the video quickly. Share it with your friends and family okay. I really need more share so that it can reach to new people and it will just motivate me to make even more videos especially beauty videos for you guys because I get very less views on beauty videos. That's why probably 
probably I'm refraining myself from making long form beauty content, which definitely is not me. I love putting on makeup. I love tasting new products out. I do have a lot of new products that I want to taste out, honestly. But it's just that I don't get a lot of views. And that's why I just, I'm just like, why am I even doing? I will be doing other works, which will pay me enough, which will at least be getting appreciation at the end of the day. And also the giveaway rules has been mentioned on the pinned comments. So please check that out. You just literally have to subscribe to my channel and my blogging channel and follow my Instagram. I love you all so much. Do your makeup, take care of your skin, drink your water. It's already summer and hopefully I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. <laughs>